Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn how to use can activate child. So in my previous video, I have explained about can activate and can deactivate. In this video, we will concentrate on can activate child guard. So what is the purpose of can activate child? And what is the difference between can activate child and can activate? We'll talk in this video. So let me go into Visual Studio Code. Already we have worked on nested routing in angular I have explained that in my previous videos please watch that for better understanding and now what I'll do is I'll just explain you how this works actually we have two types of layouts and two layouts has some sort of routing so let me go into app routing and if you see here we have auth component and admin component so what is the difference between these two all the pre-login routes I have configured in this children and this children will render in your auth component and in the same way admin admin means whatever the children which are provided inside this admin component that will be accessed only when there is a proper token or authorized person we need to find whether the user is authorized or not if he is authorized then only I'll allow him to use this all the children routes so it is same like auth component it is same like can activate but the only difference is can activate will and execute for the current component whereas children will be executed for the nested modules so can activate child will help us to activate for all the children routes not for the current component so in this case if we want to uh, if we want to check some condition or authenticate our children then we can use this can activate child so how to create can activate child guard so let me go here here let me use something like ng generate guard and the guard name is something like child activate and I am just keeping the test files so by default it will give, create a functional guard let me hit enter this functional guard can be created by selecting this can activate child by clicking on spacebar let me hit enter now it created a child activate guard so inside this child activate guard what I want to do is I want to get a token and this token I'll be getting from local storage dot get item of token so I'll just get this token if my token exists then he is an authorized user so let me return true for this if he is not having a proper token then I just want to navigate the user to login page so I'll not allow the user to access any of the child routes inside admin component so for that sake let me get the router by using a inject method and this will use a router service and import so now let me use router dot navigate of array that is auth and login I want to go into login page and then I'll just return false I don't want to access any of the child routes it is same like our can activate guard the only difference is it will use for all the children's whereas can activate will use for the current component so now I can use this child activate guard under this can activate child and this will receive this guard and give semicolon save this now let me go into our browser localhost 4200 and inspect let me go into application and inside the application I don't have the token so now what I'll do is I'll try to access admin slash what is the route we have home so let me access home route and hit enter now it went back to the login page and if you see the console there is no error and if you see the application you don't have the token but how we can verify whether it is going to the guard or not so for that sake let me go into this guard and write console dot log of token and the token value so let me save this and go here let me go and try to click on auth slash or let me use admin slash home and hit enter now let's go to the console in the console you got a token where it is null so let me go into the application and just I am adding one token over here this token can be added programmatically also but for now I am just adding this token one two three four five and then let me try to access admin slash home 
so now you are able to access home profile and home profile just click on logout and you have the token again so let me use admin slash profile page so you are able to access let me remove this and just reload this now it logged out why because whenever you remove the token whenever you reload the application it will go into your local storage check the token if the token does not exist then immediately it will route back and this return type is not required let me remove this so this is about can activate child by using functional approach let me use functional as false and hit enter it creates a can activate child with a class level so let me hit enter and you can see it's a class and it got deprecated so now let me use our logic over here and let me go here and just copy all the structure and just paste here I'm just copying the logic and let me remove this as we are using a class level I can inject by using the constructor and I am just injecting the router service and this router service I can use over here this dot router that is the only difference which we have from the functional and the class level of approach how to use this so I can just copy this class name go here and just comment this and can activate child I can give this can activate child class and save this now it works the same way we don't have the token let me try to access admin slash home we are not able to access let me add a token and the token is one two three four five six and let me try to use admin slash home it went inside I'm using admin slash profile also went inside and change password settings everything is working once I remove this token all the level of this admins can't be accessed let me hit enter it navigated to login so that is how you can use can activate child hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you